What's up, guys? It's crashing. As you can see, the sun is going down on LeMang. This is my first chance to show you guys some gameplay. So I'm going to do a little bit of a live commentary and talk about it and just kind of apologize for not being around over the next couple of days to be able to stream. I had a family trip planned. I had to be out of town, so I thought I would pop in. I really wanted to talk about this update and cover it and kind of give my live reactions to it and just basically show it to you guys. Just me sitting down, playing the game, checking out everything that's different and uh, go ahead and get into it. But it looks really cool. You can obviously see that's going down. I actually sat in the base for just a little bit and kind of went through some stuff uh, to see what was available, what was going on. I do have some of the good nods equipped. I got these. Uh, we'll check out a light. I got a light. I got a laser. Uh, I'm going to take in with me. We're going to go see if we can do the first couple quests together and you guys can check it out. I'm trying to try to call out stuff I see on the way, but let's go ahead and get a chopper going. Um, headed into the old Bravo one. You guys can see um, right off the rip, there's uh, four choppers now, and you can see exactly what they're doing, where they're headed, if you can hop in and get onto one. Um, and they're traveling quite a bit faster, as you can see this one's already here. Little, little cheeky moon. You can see the light rays around the bezel of the site with the moon. It's pretty crazy. I know one of the biggest questions, the two biggest questions, right, are optimization and the uh, the AI. So we'll check those out. Unfortunately, I can't I can't really speak too much to the optimization because I've changed my machine. I've upgraded my machine in between last time. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments once you guys get your hands on it in a couple days uh, what it's like. But this is my first time riding the chopper at night. I'm just doing this live with you guys um, to see how it goes, but. Man, like the street lights and stuff are like kind of eerie. It's cool. I I wonder if it's gonna get darker or not. We're at 2255. Again, if I remember right, it's like two hours of daylight and one hour of dark. But there's definitely some changes that you can feel right away. Um, being able to sprint and at an angle there's something that we weren't able to do um that i noticed right away and then uh trying to kind of get a feel for like how the nvgs work man they got the graininess going on the blurriness pretty sweet Nice, it's nice to hear the frogs again. And then if we need a light. Pretty bright as well. So I got to try to remember. Um, I definitely can also see. Um, that we have some changes to the tasks um, a little bit. There's a picture now, like where you have to go um, and and find these things. So I thought that was pretty cool. If I remember right, uh, we'll try to check out the demolished building since I think I'm closer to that. Um, trying to remember where the heck I am. I think it's right here. Been a minute. And then I do, I think I can change this. Man, I'm really out of practice. <laughs> I wonder if I can change this in raid. Yeah, so I can show you guys what a laser looks like at night. It's sick too. And then a laser with like the NVGs. But you can see like the light splash of it at a distance. Like bouncing off the foliage in the trees. Um really crazy oh my friends are here let me i think i want to run the flashlight for most of the time here I have toggle lean now which is super nice
Um, in the toggle sprint, once you click it, it seems to stay until you unclick it again. That'll take a minute to get used to. Staying through the trees. I have a I have an OCD problem about uh, my magazines. I didn't bring any ammo with me. Smart, but I did bring a shotgun to try out. To see if those are any better. We got friendlies up here. Oh, I can't see that guy. I was honestly just about to say that it they could make it uh they could make the game darker <laughs> and then all of a sudden I wish it would brighter right there. <laughs> uh that's funny. Hopefully those friendlies don't. Oh. Yeah. We can use shotguns, guys. Maybe we could use shotguns. That's cool where you can see where you hit them. Money, rich. Yeah, that's new. Oh, you guys, you can see the trajectory of it too. See, there's the projectile where it entered. Got friendlies approaching. Yeah, it is weird. It's going to take some practice uh, to figure out how to use these NVGs and when, you know? Because you want to use them looking into the dark, but not into the light. But, yeah, we, we all saw the, the M4s all the time. Let's try the... Uh, Where's it up here? No, that's the market. I'm lost in Nam Thaven. That's wild. That's eerie. The flashlights of the other guys. Hey, guys. Hello. Uh, hello. How's it going? All good. Nice. I'm trying out a shotgun, it's wild. I need it I need to dress out like a super tactical shotgun, to be honest. We also need to try to uh I think it climb. We need to try to uh turn off some lights. I think they got the NVGs running. Oh, here's my, here's my spot. I gotta go. I was close, guys. I was close. Just like riding a bike. All right. The other ones, we gotta go up to...
the convenience store and the gas station. I remember that. In the warehouse and the lumberyard. We can loop out. Let's go, uh, let's loop out while it's dark still. And get to the, uh, Did I bring food with me? Yes. Let's loop out while it's dark to go to the gas station and we'll work our back way back in. And then we can also kind of see the NVGs like out in the market. Dude, I am so out of practice. So far, like, I don't want to jinx it, but the starting AI are much more reasonable, which is very important at night because there's going to be times, there's going to be times we don't see them. Not gonna lie, man. I I feel I feel like it could get a bit darker. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt my feelings if they darkened it. Yeah, flashlight discipline is huge. That guy is like a beacon, man. Looking through the old toilet paper tubes. I'm assuming the AI at the other places are still pretty rough. <clears throat> I'm assuming the AI at the other places are still pretty darn rough. But at least the starting town ones are much more reasonable, which makes sense. I, but I still, you know, you still want to think, you know, like Tiger Bay, Midnight Sapphire, like all that stuff. Is still, st you still want those to be difficult. So you can see that flashlight in the distance. That's pretty cool, man. It's just kind of eerie that we can check and see. It's definitely not friendly. Forgot I broke my legs. Guys, bear with me, man. I'm getting into the swing of it. It's been a minute. Like many of you. <clears throat> but there's no, I mean, it's really a no-brainer. I know, like, the questions are going to be, is this worth getting back into? If you already own the game, 100%. Like, there's no reason not to not to get back into it and check it out. It's, all you have to do is reinstall it, or even if it's still installed, and open it up. There's no reason not to try it out and just kind of see the spectacle of this. I've, I don't think I haven't played a ton of games um at night because there's not that many um but i don't i can't name a better night simulation so i mean even if however you can do it at least hop back in like for the spectacle of it and then it's going to be on sale too and 
second for the probably the only time. Like these are the cases where you're gonna want your night vision discipline of the lights and lasers is gonna be huge. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys think it could be darker? See that guy's. All right. I'm officially having a good time because I can use shotguns. Let's go. The more kills I get with the shotgun. Oh, yeah. And see the tra bullet trajectories. That's pretty cool. We're starting. All right. All right. Ooh, necklace. <clears throat> uh, gold necklace. That feels to me in my body, my loins, that that could be worth something. So we're going to put that <clears throat> in the old prison wallet. I'd recognize a Sunrise Cola anywhere. Approaching the gas station. Man, yeah. It's worth checking out, guys. 100%. Especially if you already own it. Just to see this on your own screen. You know what I mean? It makes me um, it makes me excited for the future. But we'll, we'll try to get through these few missions here. To show you guys what it feels like. And then uh, give some thoughts on it while we're while we're on the chopper. Oh, I forgot we have a there's a deafen key too for the chopper ride. I totally forgot. I, th I don't know what my keybind is for that. We're doing it live. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Okay, that's those, okay. That's those guys up at that other house. Oh, well, that AC is loud. Yeah, dude. Oh no. Man, when you have an AI shooting at you and you can't tell Oh. Oh no. Tactical reload. That didn't feel great. But with the old AI, I totally would have been when would have been dead there. Let's see, uh, I hear another one here.
It might be me hitting the bushes and freaking out. Yeah, something's. I don't think because I because you can see. So on here, you can see my pattern. I did put the choke tube on this thing to tighten the pattern. You can see the pattern from where I was is pretty tight. And with this, you can see that maybe he was in a hole in the pattern. Um, but definitely, I don't think it was counting. Unless it only shows the kills. It might only show the kills. But that's nasty right there. Because I hit him three times. And it only counted three pellets out of, well, 24 pellets. I didn't hit him with all of them, but... Ah, uh, the old convenience store. No. Oh, we have to get the health items from the tower, too. How much ammo do I have? I want that stack. Interesting. The flyer, the flyer flies, the fire. Uh. Oh, I see you. Hello? Uh, I just vaporized that guy. Sent that guy to the nether realm. Okay. Maybe the shotgun's not so bad. That's how she should go. Oh, the smoke out of the barrel is sick. I don't even know where I am. You have to mark the lumber yard. I see a lot of little flashlights in there and I don't know if I have enough ammo for it. Yeah, the smoke out of the barrel is really, really nice. Dang it, man. I didn't hear him. All right. We got to get our stuff. All right. We're back. Took a shot to the lungs. Yeah, I didn't hear that guy. We should... Um... Let me make sure I load this. It did give me a nice opportunity to bring some ammo back with me. I should also try the 9 mil. I should try the Glock. Can't tell you where I'm at. Yeah. Dude, the smoke in the barrel is so awesome. Juke him.
Heard you that time, dude. Yeah, it's interesting, like, when to use these, when to not. We can turn that off and on. That's pretty sweet. Put a full maggot, yeah. Oh, the durability of the shoddy is already down to 90. Durability of that's already down to 90. I wonder why. I wonder if it takes I wonder if it took durability when I died. We'll have to figure that out. That's how it works. I love that with the bullet entries. That's really cool. Oh, don't work. Got us a key there. If we see it, I do want to keep my eyes open for like the light switches, but it's starting to get light out. I feel like you kind of like do a sweep with it, these in the shadows. see like stuff like those bushes you like want to check and then let me see if the pistol works if it took the durability when I died. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? <gasps> That's what I get for cheesing. All right, we'll be back. Oh, we traded. All right, I'm back. We're not going to cheese anymore. I'm not going to try to come up with cool little voice lines. You know what I mean? Dang it, man. I was trying to think of, like, some cool witty voice line to say before I dispatched that man with a shotgun. And, uh, I paid for it. These things will happen when you're showboating. Five dollars for my trouble. Uh, let's see, I think.
Gotta remember which room. Oh, that's not it. There's more stuff in these rooms. There it is. That's really cool. No, leave me alone. I don't want any trouble, sir. I have to be much more humble. I got the AI were toned down a bit, but I still, I was a little, uh, a little namby pamby there. All right. Um, where were we? Convenience store. Got that. Oh, the warehouse is close by here. I think it's on the corner. The warehouse is across, or the convenience store is across the street. Now I'm terrified. Man, it, it's different at night. Like, it's a little disorienting, to be honest. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit, I didn't see him. Nope, 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 nope. I completed that task. Uh, yeah, night's wild. Those died those guys died much more consistently. That's really cool to see the bullet pin. Sun we get to see a cool sunrise too. Man, it's really immersive. For sure. Here's the other cache, I think. Got that done. Can you, I wonder if you can mod your helmet in here because it would be cool when you don't need them. Yeah. When you don't need them to put your very expensive night vision in your uh, secure container. Cool, man. No, don't call transport. I just need to know. I need to keep my bearings on me. I'm like this in real life, too. No, 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 no. No. Man, look at that. The sunrise is sick, dude. The frogs are waking up. Yes. Just what we needed. But anyway, guys, let's talk. So while we're while we're headed back to the base to turn in these quests. Um one 
Mara was totally honest with what he said with the AI. Let's let's talk about the big things first. What like AI? The AI are much more reasonable. I had one. I killed a lot of AI. I feel like I had one hit reg issue with the shotgun. It's way better than before. Again, these servers are just firing up. Could be a netcode thing. Not 100% sure, but there was one issue with that is all. It felt much better. Killing the AI was much more consistent, I could tell, than it was in the past. So they're getting there with that. The AI was also much more reasonable. One of the concerns I had and many others had, if they had still the same super strong, um, like... They basically they were just queuing in on noise and then one shot headshotting you from the hip across the map at least the starter town That's all I can speak to right now. I wish I had more time to get later in the game I'll do that when I get back from my trip um, But at least in the starter town they were much more reasonable and they're not gonna one tap you um, Where you don't even see them in the middle of the night um, So that's a huge plus Man, that is really cool. I wish I knew how to take a screen cap. Oh, I think I did. Um, the other thing is optimization. Unfortunately, guys, I can't speak to optimization. Um, I changed my machine. I upgraded my machine in between there. I have a really high-end machine with a 4090 and a Ryzen 9. And I have DLSS on, but I have everything cranked to Epic to make the video look nice for you guys. And I'm getting 180 frames while recording on the same machine. Again, I can't really comment to that. So you guys will have to let me know. I would expect, based on what they said, that there's some modest improvements to AI or to, to uh, optimization. It is probably probably what I think. Um, the choppers are faster the UI is nicer um, I do like what they added with the uh, the screens um, in the, the tasks and stuff being able to see kind of where you got to go and stuff like that um, and then hopefully that carries all the way through later on the chopper UI is really nice uh, being able to see this uh, Nine millimeter seemed to work. Shotguns worked, which is really cool. So there hopefully is a different variety of weapons um, that that will work. Um, what else feels different? The night cycle, the day night cycle, as you guys saw, it looks cool. If I had one piece of advice, I almost think it could get darker. Um, I kind of think unless somebody catches you right um, out in like more the open stuff or like out in the wilderness area um if someone catches you you're gonna be okay without nvgs but i, I would like to see it get like a little bit darker where you, you had to like use that stuff just a little bit more but i was also in town uh there were street lights and stuff like that so keeping that in mind but the day night cycle itself is really cool like the where it i mean where it just it's not like night then day not see like the sun coming up the sky box is like that's cool, man. And if nothing else, the other big question is like, okay, we have some improved AI, but I agree they have a ways to go. We have hopefully modest uh, improvements to uh, to uh, optimization. But then if we're talking about the big question is, should you get back in the game? If you haven't installed 100%, you just at least need to see what this looks like. It's, it's visually stunning. Um, you at least need to see Hop in and play a little bit and see what that feels like. Um, you'll you'll notice some of the other changes as well, um, and it, and it's worth checking out. And what it means for me for this kind of I guess you could call it why for this season of the game, I definitely am going to play it a fair amount more um, and progress a little ways. I really there are some new night vision or nighttime quests that have to take place. Um, that I would be interested in checking out. Um, but I don't know how much I'll like super grind this game, but it makes me very optimistic for the future. Uh, they said they were going to get this out by fall. 
It is later fall. It's crazy how good this looks. Um, and if they can keep doing stuff, I know six months is going to be a long time. And honestly, it sounds like a little weird, but I'm really more excited for, for the next update when we start getting into lore and finding stuff around. And oh, I should see uh, really quickly um, how much the necklace is worth that I found. Because that's one of the big things too, the new loot. I got the necklace off that guy. Uh, $165. Not terrible. I saw gold and I got excited, but no, that's definitely... I mean, that'll buy you a helmet or something, so... Uh, cool. What else is there, guys? I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to leave you with, but I, I don't know if this is, like, to where the game... And I think I believe Mara said this at one of the uh, live events. Like, he said that uh, next update is going to be where you can sink a lot more time into the game. But it's worth checking out. It's worth feeling the improvements. Um, there's definitely still fun to be had on this like sandbox. I want to check out some of the new areas on the map um, and see see what's going on at these other places. You can see some minor changes to the maps, but until you get out there, you don't really know. And uh, it just it feels, man, it feels good to be back in Lemang. It feels good to be back in Lemang. Um, moving around, checking stuff out. But if you have the game already, there's no reason not to get it. If you don't, you should think about it being on sale and how this update is and think about what all is planned for the game and if they can get to their through to their vision, uh, it could be it could be awesome. So open world and stuff where you you know you don't have to get out of a raid and spend time in the menus. You can fly around, stay on the map do whatever the heck you want and um i'm kind of excited to get in here with friends and just go around the map and cause trouble and loot around and look and stuff and explore um i get a little bit quested out sometimes but just now having higher tier loot and the option to just run around and, and cause havoc or trouble um could be really cool so anyway guys i think that's all i had i just wanted to kind of show you my experience my first experience with the uh with the night mode we went through we spent the night together we spent the night together in lemang and uh it was really cool i really appreciate you guys so much i i do apologize for having to have a trip it's just how the timing worked out and i'm not able to stream the early part uh too much but there'll be more content we'll keep an eye on everything we'll uh, we'll always be watching and and following this game from its start to its finish and uh, I just appreciate you guys uh, choosing me uh, to go along with the ride. There's tons of awesome creators out there. And the fact that you watch this video means the world to me. You guys are a blessing to me and my family. And I want you guys to take care. Have a good one. Good luck in LeMang. And I'll see you guys when I get back.